Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathor. I have done MD in Financial Medicine and today we will discuss about firearm cartridges. Cartridges is a one unit of ammunition used in the firearms. Cartridge consists of percussion cap containing primer powder which is used for ignition, then propellant which is mainly a gun powder which may be smokeless, smoke, smokeless gun powder or black powder, a projectile which may bullet in rifle cartridge or pellets or shots in case of shotgun cartridges and wads in mainly in the smoothbore weapons which which helps in placing the shots in one place cartridges use of cartridges is keeps the various components together like the projectile that is bullet or shots or wads in a component uh, in a one place it prevents backward escape of gases after ignition whatever the gas is produced it prevents the escape of gases so that the bullet gets the more enough energy for traveling forward it provides waterproofing for gun powder gun powder so that it can be fired even in wet conditions now coming to shotgun cartridge so as we discussed shotguns and the smooth uh, that those are the smooth weapons and rifle which has rifling are the main two types of firearms which are present so shotgun cartridges consist of a case made up of short metal cylinder which is continuous cardboard or plastic cylinder so it, it is base is mainly made up of a uh, metal ca case then it continues with the cardboard or a plastic cylinder case is rimmed that is there is a uh, sideway it is rimmed which helps in which keeps the cartridge in correct position also helps to extraction easy the length of cartridge in shotgun varies from 5 to 7 cm in size the cartridge is case is filled from from base to top in this order first is a percussion cap which is present here so percussion cap also known as primary battery cup in shotgun cartridges is a set in, in the center of the base of the cylinder cartridges so this is where the firing pin hits the primary cup primer cup or detonator cap or also called as battery cap then there is a gun powder which is present here so gun powder mainly consists of it is a propellant which have seen which when ignited in a reduces gases then there is thick felt wad so this is a felt wad so felt wad helps in lubrications it is placed lying in the front and back by a cardboard disc so these are the two cardboard discs which places the felt wad in between then there are shots so shots are the charge or load so these are the shots of multiple small pellets are placed in the shotgun if they act as a projectiles in the shotguns then there is a retaining cardboard disc present at the top which help keeps the shot in place over which the edges of the cartridge cylinder walls are pressed so this cardboard is placed and the edges of the cardboard are placed over the cardboard disc to keep the shots in place in some cartridges top wad is also present keep the shots in place so instead of cardboard disc there is sometimes wad also placed so this is the image of the shotgun cross section primary cup consisting of the anvil then there is a rim which is present then primary mixture paper disc then vent hole from which the ignition is in ignition flashes is ignited ignites the gun powder then there is cardboard disc top and bottom where they between the wad then there is shots which are the projectiles coming from the shotgun then there is a retaining cardboard disc so wad is made wad is a special material which is present in the short uh, in the shotguns and it has a, a specific function in the shotguns so it is made of soft material like a disc of felt or cardboard or cork or straw it is placed between powder and the shots or the sh or the disc so it is placed between the shots and the gun powder the cardboard disc behind the short charge prevents the pellets from getting the getting lost in the felt part so advantage of wad is it allows optimum pressure to develop when the gas gun powder is ignited it provides the optimum pressure to develop before it reaches the shots it seals the bore effectively it helps in lubrication so sometimes wads also have lubrication which helps to lubrication of the shorts so whenever this well wad is lubricates the shorts for the dispersion of the shorts prevents the escape of gas from the breech end so that the shorts are move forward 
then separates the propellant from the projectiles. Now coming to rifle cartridge. So rifle cartridge consists of a metal cylinder with a flat base which projects as a rim. So it consists of a, again metallic first is a metallic base which has a, a ridge for a rim for again for placing in the uh, chamber as well as for extraction. Rimless cartridges has an extraction group near the base for extraction. Then there is primary cup or percussion cap. So this is the primary cup or percussion cap. It needs is fit in a circular hole, usually in the center of the base and has a flash hole in the center which communicates with the powder space inside. So primary cup consists of anvil and there is a hole from which it communicates with the, uh, the gun powder. So metal cylinder cartridge case is elongated and is distal and tightly grasps the base of the bullet which is a projectile. So this case, this is the case which tightly grasps the bullet, the projectile. Many bullets have near the base a circumferential groove called a cannulaire into which the end of the case is crimped. This is crimped. So at the, at, the, at the base of the bullet, there is depression or circumferential depression present which helps to help the bullet in to be held in the one case. Bullet with the is held in position by stabs or circumference of the base. So this is the cross section of the bullet. There is a base made of metal which is and there is center is a percussion cap or primer cap and the anvil and there is a hole in between the primary cap and the gunpowder and there is, this is gunpowder is held and above the gunpowder is the bullet and which is held by the tight brass back cannular base which uh, keeps the bullet in place. So this is the cross section of the rifle cartridge. These are my references. Thank you.